Hey, I'm Greg. Hey, I'm Les. This is the video podcast for the website. What's up, GF.com? That's right. This is the video website where you find everything that is going on in the Boundary Country. It's a video website? Oh, well, sorry. It's the video What's podcast. What's a video website? Well, we have video on the website. That's true, yeah. But our website is a place where you go to find everything that is going on in the Boundary Country. If you're not here, if you're at home, you can't go to the Community Information Board here on the side of the library, you come to our site. That's right. So, uh, we are here... We're here at the library because a couple of the events that we're highlighting this week... Hi. Hi. A couple of the events we're highlighting this week are happening here at the library. That's right. Um, a patron. That's right. Uh, so, yeah, what we're going to do is uh, we uh, we take a few of the events off the calendar yep. uh, that you'll find at the website whatsupgf.com. We talk about them. And uh, why don't we go inside and we'll meet you there. You can see me. Can I see you? <laughs> Go. <sighs> Bye. <laughs> okay, so... Who is that? Don't know. Who's that? She's got a cat. This is Mrs. Mary Stewart Dolman. She's got a purse. Ah, yes, the cat and the purse. Okay, so... Yeah, oh, I love that song. The cat, cat and, and the, the purse and the silver... No, that's not how it goes. Oh, hey, yeah. okay, so we're inside the library. We're going to be a little more quiet here. Yes, people are trying to read. We're in the reference area. That's right. Magazines are behind you. <laughs> All right. No, okay, we'll just be as loud as we want. Then. Okay. <laughs> so. So what's going on on Saturday, Les? Well, I think got coincidentally, things. it's Saturday we're doing the show. Hey. Okay. Oh, oh, before we start, I just want to say just uh, a big hi to Janice. She said she's one of our biggest fans. She wanted us to say hi. Hi, Janice. Well, she didn't want us to say hi, but we're saying hi anyhow. Hi, Janice. Okay. So, Saturday, hey, the Boundary Woodworkers Guild, they meet around 9 a.m. down by where the ESPCA used to be on Donaldson. Yep. Uh, and they have a monthly business meeting at 10 a.m. on the first Saturday of the month. They paid. People are you know, invited to join, actually, probably mostly men. <laughs> I've seen their place. Uh, the meat it doesn't bar, have to be. No, it doesn't have to be. I mean, if you're a craftsperson, female, gender, you can probably push your way in there. That's right. They're going to kill me for saying it. No, they won't. They're nice people. But uh, over there at the Legion, they have a meat draw. And I want to talk about something here. Barbara Adler is going to be here at the library. She was here last year. And she's appeared twice this week. This is the second time. And it's going to be about the BC Memory Game. And I can't remember what the BC Memory Game is about. So come here, Lizanne. Why don't you tell us about the BC Memory Game? Crunk. Hi, Les. Hi, Greg. Hello. Hi. So... The BC Memory Game will be happening on Saturday, April 2nd, and what Barbara's done is she's got a Canada Council grant where she goes around to different communities, small communities in BC, collecting local stories, and then she takes all these little tidbits back, and she's got an artist partner in Vancouver who's creating little cards, you know, like the game Memory that we used to play when we were kids, so she'll have cards from all the different communities to create, ultimately, a deck that will be available, I assume, for purchase, but... Oh, yeah, so it's kind of exciting. Have a card or yeah. Whole game? Well, if people come out and tell their stories, she'll have something to, you know, take back to Vancouver and do pictures of. But well, we need memory. people to get down here, and she'd really like to have some local Dukabor stories, but also other stories about Grand Forks would be exciting. Cool. Did you talk about her coming on Thursday night as well? Not yet, but uh, we'll be getting to that. Okay. We'll be later on. Uh, Thanks, Lizanne. Okay, so right, you remember that? I do, be, I do remember that. What was that? Oh, he's trying to use the cut. Okay, so next segment. Next segment. Reading a little Samuel Taylor Coleridge. You know, that's what I do on my Saturdays. We're in the poetry section, Les. Yeah, apparently so. Yes, lots of poetry. Will Durant? Oh, well, I don't think those are poets. No, I don't think poetry is more down here. But, but uh, you know what we're not doing? We're not having a poetry slam. Yeah, I was wrong. That's my bad. No. Explain to him what a poetry slam is. Well, I wasn't here for the last one. Please, Anne, please come here. Explain to us what is a poetry slam because apparently I was wrong. Okay, a poetry slam is a competition where people get up and they're basically. I'll just away into the background. You guys go. <laughs> yeah, the poetry's over there. All right, I'll read a book. They're slamming their poetry. They're having competitions about who can speak the fastest, be the most eloquent, uh, the funniest. And I think they get the audience to clap and do a rating like that. So it's but kind of like, uh, 
Yeah, like Eminem did in uh, Mile 8, yeah. 8 Mile, yeah. yeah, yeah. 8 Mile, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm wrong about that. <laughs> so that's on Thursday, right? Yeah, Thursday at 6.30, Barbara's coming back, and she's going to be playing her accordion. She's stellar on the accordion, and she'll be telling some stories and doing some of her poetry. It won't be a competition, but she's going to have an open mic, so if anybody in town's got something, a song or a poem or a story they want to get up and share, there'll be time to do that, and there'll be snacks. Hey, snacks. 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 Well, snacks before so you can get your energy up. Thank you. Okay, so what else have you got to say? Oh, we got a couple of things. We're going we're gonna to go through them here. Of course, anything, if, if we've said anything and you're not sure about what we talked about, it's all at the website, whatsupgf.com. Oh, that's right. And I'd like to thank Lizanne for showing up today, by the way. There's a picture of Barb Adler with her. Well, got a big You'll have seen that already by now. Um, on the memory game. Okay, we've talked about all this less. We should really rehearse the show. Oh, Fridays, we've got the. Uh, Thursday, we got, we got right open mic. Well, I'm doing Friday. Friday, open mic at Kokomo's. It's the first Friday of the month. Yep. So that'll be coming up. That's so from that's six till nine. Two open mics, one day and the next day. And there's going to be some hip hop at the Winnie. Yeah, hey, hip hop. Yes, I'm not down with what the kids are listening to these days, so I wouldn't know really what's going on there. But that's uh, Friday, April 1st, 9 p.m. Goes to 11.30 p.m., five bucks at the door, and uh, more information on the, the website, website about that. That's right. Okay. And if you're putting on an event that yes. you would like to help get the word out there, you know, you can use us. Use us, please. Yes. Yeah, definitely. All you got to do, it's very simple. Go to the website, click the Contact Us tab, send us an email with all the information. Mm -hmm. Did you say that already? No, I didn't. Okay. Sorry, I'm a little... <laughs> He's confused because I'm I'll... doing this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> um... Uh, we should really just have had Lizanne do the show. It probably would have went a lot smoother. Oh, well. Okay. But, uh, so anyway. oh, speaking, of, speaking of Lizanne, and the, the, did she mention the book sale going on? That's right. There's a book sale here yeah, at the, the library. book sale starting March 31st. Uh, there's more information about, on the website about that. There'll be a Thursday, big Friday, I always Saturday. love the book sales here yeah. at the library. I always pick up stuff. It's good scores. Uh, there's Bingo at the Legion on uh, Thursdays. And, of course, there's no, drop in the in Thursday. Uh, on Thursdays, Senior Citizens Park. So you just start on Thursday, go to Friday, go back to Thursday. It's hey, going to make you know, me if, work if in the end of this week. You know, I understand. I am very confusing. But just head to the website. It's all there in order, chronological order. It's very simple. Hey, if you want to put something on the website, but you don't want to send us an email, what can they do less? Well, down on Market Street, right across from the Gem Theater, you'll find select office products and... Hey, I've got a little space in the back, and I'll take your information. I'll take your poster. I'll put it on the website. That's a little service. space in the back. You'll take yeah. your information. That's right. And if I'm not there, Lorraine will take your stuff. Probably Maybe she'll even put the post poster in the room. That's right. Please bring <laughs> she's it written, much, written she's much more pleasant. Yes, she is. She is. Believe me. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I think we've covered pretty much. Oh, 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 one thing I wanted to mention. This morning, I got woken up by a phone call. Some woman with an English accent who said she worked for a company called Technogeny. And that my computer was sending out viruses and stuff. And her ISP had called them to say, call him and tell him not to do that. Bogus. It's a scam. Yeah. If they say they're from Microsoft, Technogeny, have a bit of an English or an Indian accent, and you've never heard of them, tell them, oh, gee, I don't even have a computer. Or something like that. Yep. Just, or, or just hang up on them. Bye-bye. It's a scam. Don't do what they ask you to do. Don't buy any products from them. It's wrong. Microsoft won't call you. Anyways, I just had to mention that, especially for the people out there in Cable 10 land. That's anyway. right. Uh, in the meantime, hey, why don't you tell people when we're on Shaw Cable? Because, you know, we, we are the kings of all media here in Grand Forks. You can talk about all these other uh, young upstarts that are trying to, you know, to, to, to do stuff here in Grand Forks. But really, it's me and Les, really. We rule. We rule. We are the kings of all media in the boundary country. Uh, what, I wouldn't more Howard can Stern I say? Stern is the king of all media. See? We're the kings of all media in this area. I can't say anything else. Um, we're on the Facebook. Uh, we get a lot of people on the Facebook. So come and join our group there. Uh, you can see our videos there. You can see our videos on Cable 10. What time, Les? 10 a.m. on Tuesday, 6 p.m. on Wednesday, 1 p.m. in the afternoon on Thursday. But, of course, your best bet, head to the website, whatsupgf.com. We're there 24-7. You can That's get right. all of our episodes are, are there if you want to watch some old ones. Yeah, no. well, I don't know why well, you want to. But actually, all this is there. last summer, actually. Oh, uh, well, you know, that was some of our best work last summer. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> we're going to have to let you go now. We're, we're making enough noise in the library. We shouldn't be doing yeah. that. i got to read this Rhymes of a Rolling Stone by, Sir, by Robert Service. I thought maybe you'd like Stenciling on Fabrics by Ren Lowesby. I'm dreaming tonight in the fire glow alone in my study tower. My books battalioned around me. 
Well, I keep playing flat on my knees.